Hey guys, what's up? Giving up 96 here, uh, and we're here to do another video today. Today is actually a contest entry for uh, Toddy Walnuts, as he recently, today I believe actually, he uh, reached his goal of 150 subscribers before doing his contest. And what his contest is, is it has to be an at least five minute video uh, describing your favorite distribution label, favorite release from the distribution, your most anticipated movie, and um... Sorry, and then you need to uh, mention a release that has never been on Blu-ray before, including uh, different regions. So, uh, let's break down into this right away. And uh, the first one for me is my favorite distribution label. This was a really hard choice, in my opinion, because... There's a lot of good distribution labels right now. Uh, you got Twilight Time, which I don't respect for doing the limited Blu-rays, but I will say they do put out great um, flicks. So I can't put down Twilight Time. They're not my favorite distribution label. I also can't put out Anchor Bay as much as I want to because they did uh, collaborate with um, companies. Um, I can't put out down Grindhouse releasing, but the company that I'm going to go with as my favorite right now is Scream Factory. And the reason I'm going with Scream Factory is because in my opinion, they put out um, the most, uh, complete packages with films that you don't expect to have collector's editions, um, like, okay, I'm gonna bring up Grindhouse releasing and talk about this release. Beyond, great release, love Grindhouse for putting this awesome set out. But this is a film I'd expect to get a release like this. Due to all the history and the fact Italian horror and Lucio Fulci. Um, but the company that I'm going to go with, with my favorite, is Scream Factory. The reason for this is they make collector's editions to films that we really don't expect to have collector's editions, including new and old films. Um, two films that I can come off uh, to the top of my out, out of the top of my head that deserve deserved a collector's edition, but no other company probably would have touched as far as a collector's edition goes. And that's Halloween 3, which is considered to be, by some people, the worst of the series due to the lack of Michael Myers. To me personally, it's my favorite of this series, which is why I love that release. But it's not my favorite release from Scream, although it is one of my favorites. Um, they also do... Uh, great posters that come with each collector's edition release um, which is a big plus uh, another release that I can think of off the top of my head that probably would not have had a collector's edition had it stuck with its original label MGM is Phantasm 2 also Funhouse also now Serpent and the Rainbow, which is getting a release very soon, in August, I believe, which is amazing. I mean, I would have never thought that Serpent and the Rainbow would get um, a Blu-ray release, much less a collector's edition release. Though I do feel bad for people who bought the um, 
bare bones edition of the people under the stairs because that got licensed to scream this year and even though the movie just came out last year on blu-ray it's getting re-released again this year um with that being said though my favorite releases for um Scream Factory, which is part two to the questions, is Day of the Dead. Um, this is b mainly because they have an awesome, in-depth, uh, professional, retrospective uh, with George A. Romero and Tom Savini, not to mention the uh, awesome poster that came with it. Um, to me, it just was a big, it was my first Scream Factory review, and actually, I have a video of me opening it, opening it, not my first Scream Factory review, my first Scream Factory purchase in general, um, and I gotta say, uh, since that day, I've been diehard with Scream Factory, I know a lot of people doubt them, but I love them, um, Along with the Day of the Dead, I also love the um, Halloween uh, big collection, another thing that I opened. Um, I love that for all the special features in it. You had um, the producer's cut finally, for six finally done. Um, the collector's editions for the... Uh, second and third we finally got the uh, we finally got the television cut of the original on blu-ray sadly the um, parts of the film that are made for TV were in standard def but uh, you can't blame them for that also what I want to bring up is um, a newer release that I consider one of my favorites from them is definitely this uh, Babadook uh, release. Um, I know a lot of people have gotten this, but uh, what I gotta just say is for a special edition, this release is amazing. Uh, I did not expect this uh, to get this kind of release, especially when I found out IFC Midnight picked it up, uh, which uh, a lot of times we'll see get, ow, <laughs> get only a uh, DVD release with minimal special features, and this, although it has minimal special features, it still has a decent amount, and uh, this awesome slipcase, which is supposed to be a limited run. Um, next I'm moving on to the third part of this uh, video. Uh, it's most anticipated movies, which I wasn't sure if that's meant for Blu-ray or uh, actual movies coming out, so I'm gonna mention three movies that are coming out and one uh, Blu-ray release that I'm anticipating. Uh, my most anticipated uh, film that I want to see is Wolf Cop 2. I obviously love the first one. It's one of my favorite movies from 2014. Um, uh, we don't know what the sequel will be about at all, but uh, I just think it would be funny if they got a uh, werewolf private eye, and um, they called it uh, Wolf Cop versus Wolf Dick. I th that's just my humor. I think it would be funny. Um, I'm also looking forward to the Marvel Spider-Man project, seeing that they now own Spider-Man, I'm interested in seeing what he's going to be like in the Marvel Universe. I'm looking forward to Suicide Squad, which we just got an image um, of the whole cast together as their characters. And i got to say, I really like uh, the whole cast 
they look awesome. Even Will Smith as a Deadshot looks great. Um, Harley looks good. The only problem I have is uh, the art that they originally gave us um, for the Joker, which is now being said um, that it's not how he's going to look in the film, even though the, it was announced as the first official look at the Joker, but I'm assuming all the internet rage made them drop it. Uh, and as far as um, the exciting Blu-ray release that I would like to see, that I'm really uh, excited about uh, coming out, is definitely Sleepaway Camp 2 and 3. Uh, I put them together as one, as I mentioned before, one Blu-ray release, but it is two. Uh, I just want those posters to go with my... Uh, first poster, which I think is amazing. In my opinion, still the best uh, Scream Factory poster art that they've had. Um, I'm also looking forward to um, Zombievers, which comes out May 19th. Uh, Best Buy exclusive, uh, pre-order that, or just wait till it comes out. Um, the Blu-ray will be only at Best Buy, so that's the only way we can get the Blu-ray. Um, it's kind of like the house is October built. Uh, Wolf Cop, on the other hand, was a short period that it was going to be a blue, uh, Best Buy Blu-ray exclusive, but soon that comes out to everybody else has a Blu-ray, um, but I believe Zombievers is just going to be a Blu-ray exclusive for Walmart. Um, now we're going to talk about uh, the film that I feel should be uh, ported over to Blu-ray, one that I would very much like to see in the very future. Hopefully not by Twilight Times, but if it is by Twilight Times, you can bet your ass that I'll be picking it up from Twilight Times. And that is Charles B. Pierce's uh, original Legend of Bogey Creek. I would love Scream Factory to pick this up. Um, mainly for the reason that, uh, just like uh, one of their other releases, The Town That Dreaded Sundown, um, it's done by Charles B. Pierce, uh, it's a faux documentary, uh, this one happens to be about the Falk monster, which in the 1940s, uh, supposedly attacked the town of Falk, it was called the Falk monster, I want to say southern Arkansas is where it was, um, as you can see, this is the standard DVD from uh, Sterling Entertainment. Uh, this the video quality for this one's kind of meh. I would love to see Scream Factory release this and possibly like do a double feature with Legend of Bogey Creek 2. I think would be really cool. And like I said, it's it's essentially filmed and told the same exact way that uh, the town that dreaded sundown is um, and based on a true story I think uh, Scream if they have the option to pick this up it would be an amazing release from them whether collector's edition or not doesn't really matter if they got one and two I'd be very happy, even if they didn't do a two-pack, but did what they did with Pumpkinhead, I'd be really happy because, I mean, could you imagine, uh, you'd have to draw the Bigfoot like that, but, uh, could you imagine something like that as, um, the poster for this release? It'd be awesome. I'd be down for that. Um, definitely needs a upgrade 
as far as uh, special features and everything, I mean, your bonus features are scene access, filmography, interactive menus, interactive menus. That's a special feature. Production notes and a photo gallery. Uh, this definitely needs to get that Blu-ray upgrade. Um, but that's all I can think about for Blu-ray because, like, as I was thinking, I mean, I was like, okay, Martin, oh, that has a Region B release. And then I was sitting there thinking, um, what about Night of the Living Dead? Oh, yeah, that has a Japanese and a Region UK release. And I'm like, I actually went on to eBay and checked to make sure Legend of Bogey Creek uh, had a, didn't have a Blu-ray release because um, I was it's hard to think of uh, titles that don't have a Blu-ray release uh, in like when you just normally like I think region A because I don't have a region free Blu-ray player I'm like okay Martin hasn't been on Blu-ray Arrow released it oh uh, Night of the Living Dead, not here yet, but it's been released. Uh, I almost decided to go the Fright Night 2 route because, well, Fright Night 2, everybody wants it, and for some reason the DVD is super rare, and the Blu-ray, there is no Blu-ray, you need to basically buy a bootleg copy to even have the film. But uh, I really didn't want to go with that because, to be honest, although Fright Night is a fun movie, it's not one of my favorite movies. It's good, but not one of my favorites. Alright, but um, that's it from me to you guys. Uh, this has been Giving Up 96 here, entering Toddy Walnuts. 150 subscriber contest uh, go check them out subscribe subscribing's free it doesn't cost you a dime uh, check them out and uh, wish me luck uh, have a good one guys bye